is a small bedroom community to Springfield. It's an old community. I think like most towns, but especially here, there's a sense of the people are hardworking. People kind of take care of each other. In smaller towns like this, one of our biggest problems would be the number of officers and the amount of availability to cover the whole town. Being a suburb of a bigger city, we do have some uh, offshoot crime that spills over into our small community. If you notice, kids ride bikes. It's a pretty open community, and it's always a concern about the safety of our children. That's probably the, the most important concern we have. So for a small city like Williamsville, it's quiet. A lot of people, I feel like, move out to this area to avoid the, the big city problems that you see in other locations. And the administration, the village as a whole, cares about their community very much. And that's where you get that proactive approach. All of these are custom solutions designed, tailored to fit the needs of our customers. We had deployed cameras in their most troublesome areas, around the police station perimeters, around the village hall, and at the park. Before our installation of this system, we didn't have anything in our school district, and there was a couple unfortunate incidents that occurred three years ago that uh, caused us to evaluate our current systems and procedures that we have in place, and one of those additions was the school security and safety system, including cameras, door locking systems, and alert mechanisms. We are interconnected with the city and the local police department and the Sherman Police Department. So both police departments, Williamsville and Sherman Police Departments, they have access to what's going on inside of our building. And that's important to build that bridge of communication between our first responders if an unfortunate situation ever did occur. One of our biggest challenges is when stuff starts to happen, like we'll be dealing with call at uh, a truck stop and someone will call and complain about something happening on another side of town or for instance the park, we can instantly with our uh, laptops and the uh, squad cars pull up the cameras and look and see who they are, identify them, and in essence handle two calls at once. Uh, it helps us solve crimes that otherwise wouldn't you know, be solved. One thing with a smart city is that it is not all about the technology and it's the ability to identify specific problems and adapt accordingly. When you're talking about Williamsville with the village, uh, you know, we're sitting down with the mayor, with the chief of police, um, dealing with the school district. So that enables us to really hear their problems and hone in on specific issues and such, which is what allows our design build model to work best. It allows us to better manage the city. I wish we had it when I was working the street. <laughs> the fact that it makes people feel safer is a very good thing, especially in this day and age. The community's reaction was overwhelmingly positive because they understood that we were taking additional steps and measures and policies and procedures to protect their most precious commodity, their children. Uh, it allows us to have more, more time with the community, actually uh, get out, talk, stop and visit the gas stations with the uh, employees and residents. Just in general, it's let us be more part of the community than actual doing law enforcement. Working with somebody that is, is more proactive than reactive um, is, a, is a huge benefit to us. We enjoy that in creating a safer environment for everybody in the community and the school district here in Williamsville. It, it's definitely worthwhile. I would definitely recommend it to any village, any school, any park district or whatever. It obviously is a great tool for law enforcement and for management of a community.